All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is 5-2-H-W-12, medians inside the triangle. I'm going to practice a few of these problems in class here, and we're going to practice a little bit more here on the homework. So, with number one, we have find x if ug from here to here is x minus 5, and ul, the entire thing, is negative 2 plus x. So, what we did in class, we took this line and we made it more of a number line here like that. And that was to help us label and be able to see things a little bit better. So from here to here was two-thirds of the line and then from here to there was one-third of the line. So the two-thirds piece, the UG, is the bigger one of the altitude, the bigger piece. So the bigger piece of X minus 5 goes right there. The UL, now UL is the entire thing from all the way from the left all the way to the right. So that would be negative 2 plus X. And that's from, from this end point all the way to here. That's a negative 2 plus X. we got to find this piece. Now X plus 5, that's the big 2 thirds piece. And this is the one-third piece. So to go from two-thirds to one-third, we have to just divide everything by two. So 1x divided by two gets you 0.5x. And negative five divided by two is negative 2.5. That's the value, or the algebraic expression, of that one-third piece. These, this guy is half the value of this. Now to make our equation, we just add the x minus 5 plus the 0.5x minus 2.5. We're going to add these two pieces and set it equal to the big piece. So we have x minus 5 plus the 0.5x minus 2.5. Those two pieces added together and set it equal to the big piece. And once we get that geometry part down, it's just now Algebra 1, where we've combined like terms. So 1x plus 0.5x is 1.5x. Negative 5 minus 2.5 is minus 7.5. And it's equal to negative 2 plus x. We then use inverse operations. I would subtract x from both sides, so we get 0.5x. make it equal to 2, negative 2. So all I do is subtract x from both sides. Now I'm going to add 7.5 to both sides and we're going to get 0.5x is equal to 5.5 because all we did was just add 7.5 to both sides. Negative 2 plus 7.5 is positive 5.5 and then we divide both sides by 0.5, and we're going to get x equals 11. And we can put that into the calculator, find that out. So number one is x equals 11. Because that's our goal, we want to solve for x. Now to find the exact lengths, all we got to do is put 11 in for x, and we can find out the exact lengths of each piece of the altitude and also the altitude itself. So let's move on to problem number two. So problem number two says find x if ju is equal to x. So the two-thirds part is x. And us, which is the one-third part, is x minus one. So let's put it on the number line. The two-thirds part is x. So that big piece is x. And then the US, that's one third part, is X minus one. Now they're not telling us the big part. But that's okay, we don't need it. Because we know the big part, or the big piece, is two thirds, and the small piece is one third. And all we gotta do is double the one third, and it's gonna be equal to two thirds. Because one third times two gets you two thirds. So we're going to double that small piece. It's going to be 
x minus 1 plus x minus 1 is equal to the two-thirds piece, which is x. So x minus 1 plus x minus 1, so two little one-third pieces, is equal to a two-thirds piece. So we combine like terms and solve for x. So x plus x is 2x. Minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. And that's equal to x. So all they did was just combine like terms, like you did in Algebra 1. Then we're going to subtract 2x from both sides. So then we're going to get negative 2 is equal to negative 1x. So all I did from this step to this step was subtract 2x from both sides. And then I divide by negative 1. And we're going to get x equals 2. So the answer to number 2 is x equals 2. And those are the two styles that we're going to practice bouncing back and forth between. So let's do two more problems to make sure we feel okay. So problem number three. Find x if an, an which is the two-thirds part, is x minus 1, and nj, which is the one-third part, is minus 5 plus x. So I do my number line, so it's a little bit easier for me to see. an is two-thirds, so x minus 1 is in the two-thirds spot. And nj is in the one-third spot, so we do negative 5 plus x in the one-third spot. All we need to do is double the one-third and set it equal to the two-thirds spot, and we'll be good to go. So the two-thirds is neg x minus 1, and that's going to be equal to double of the smaller piece. So negative 5 plus x plus negative 5 plus x. We combine like terms. Negative 5 and negative 5 get you negative 10. So x minus 1 is equal to negative 10 plus 2x. So we just combine like terms on the right hand side of that equal sign. They go from here to here. Inverse operations, I'm going to add 10 to both sides. So I'm going to have x plus 9 is equal to 2x goes plus 10 plus 10 so negative 1 plus 10 gets you positive 9 and the plus 10 and minus 10 cancel out then you're going to subtract 1x from both sides and we're going to get 9 equals x or aka x equals 9 and that's how you do problem number 3 alright let's do problem number 4 Number four says, find x if gz, gz, which is the two-thirds part, is equal to 3x minus 5, and gt, the entire thing, is 3x plus 3. So I do my number line, where the big piece is the two-thirds, the small piece is the one-third. And underneath, I type in the big guy. So gz is the two-thirds part, so that would be 3x minus 5. That goes in the two-thirds spot. GT, it's the big thing, so it's 3x plus 3. So that's referring to the entire line. That means all the way from here, all the way to the left, and all the way to the right. And we have to solve for x. Now we're missing that small one-third spot, but we could actually work with that, because we know our two-thirds is 3x minus 5. So what we do, we got to cut that in half. And that's what this length is going to be. So 3x divided by 2 gets you 1.5x. And negative 5 divided by 2 is negative 2.5. So that's your 2 thirds spot. That's your 1 third spot. These two pieces added together will equal the 3x plus 3. So we're going to combine like terms. So it'll be 3x minus 5 plus 1.5x minus 2.5 is equal to 3x plus 3. This piece plus this piece will equal that big piece. 
Now, so what do we got here? We have combined like terms 3x and 1.5x. Well, that will get you a 4.5x. Negative 5 minus 2.5 is negative 7.5. And that's going to be equal to 3x plus 3. So all I did from this step to this step was combine like terms. The 3x and the 1.5x is, is 4.5x. Negative 5 minus 2.5 is negative 7.5. And then equals 3x plus 3. We do our inverse operations. I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. So I'm going to get 1.5x minus 7.5 is equal to 3. 